Slow no, I'm on my craft. What they say? Ain't no lame diggins eating on my plate. Oh no, 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 no. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Bianca, and today I am back with another chit chat, I wanna say. Not a vlog, not a challenge, but a little chit chat. I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys um, briefly um, about the wedding. You guys, I don't know if the video, I'm gonna do a little personal clip of you know, little um, sceneries and stuff like that. Myself to put out there. And then I think maybe on later on down in the month when I get the full video from the videographer, then I'll release that one too. Um, so yeah, with that being said, before we get into this little video, um, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and make sure your post notification bell is turned on and make sure you leave us a comment down below also i want to give a shout out to a special person that i never knew that support us and watch our videos and stuff like that which is um nadine thomas i want to give a shout out to you because i spoke to your daughter on sunday and she said your mom watch every her, she said my mom watch every video she don't miss a video she always talking about you guys and stuff like that so i really appreciate that um and i never knew you uh watch so shout out to you for supporting us um please continue to do so we appreciate it um so yes with that being said let's get into this wedding so, as you guys know, um, my wedding was this past Sunday. Well, if you didn't know, it was just this past Sunday. And period, I had a great time. It was like a wonderful experience. Let me turn this thing down. So. Okay, it was a wonderful experience and I really enjoyed myself. Planning was hectic, of course, but, you know, I got through it you know with the help of my mother-in-law and you know just getting through it that's it that's all i'm gonna say but um it was wonderful and whatever way you did help out i want to thank you and i just let you know that i appreciate it whether it was small or big i want to appreciate all the gifts and everything from each and every person I can't name more but you know who you are um I really wanted to come on here and talk about number one if you are invited to a wedding so basically I'm sorry I had to um get a call basically what I was saying is if you know that you're being invited to a wedding ahead of time you have to set in your mind. Listen, I understand. Not everybody works. Not everybody. How can I say? I want to say it the right way. Not everybody has money all the time. But best believe if I am invited to a wedding ahead of time i'm gonna do what i have to do to make sure i have money to put in a card or a decent gift depending on the couple you understand what i'm saying i never physically been to a wedding before right um no i'm lying when i was a kid i was in in a wedding one of my great aunt's wedding but i was a child so i never had to like gift anything or whatever and didn't know nothing about that but as you're learning not even learning this is this is something that you don't have to learn in any particular occasion even down to someone's birthday or a kid's party or anything you know to yourself that you have to bring something you understand what i'm saying it's only right how do you 
position yourself to go to a wedding, get yourself an outfit, get your hair done, make sure you look good, and don't provide nothing for the groom, bride or groom. Like, how the hell does that work? You know what I'm saying? I'd rather go get me a, <clears throat> a $10 outfit and then put, put the rest of the money to the side and make sure I have enough money left over to get a gift. You know what I'm saying? Me and my husband requested monetary gifts for the reason of, and I'm glad we did that because when we were going home, we didn't really have nobody to help us take all the leftover food. When I tell you we had pans of food left over, we had pans of food left over. We had tons of sodas, juices, whatever liquor we didn't use, um, a, a bag of cards. We had our, you know, our children, all kind, and they were tired. We were tired. My feet were so swollen. So it's like, I preferred the cars than going home with a bunch of gifts, like 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 at a baby shower. And this and this and that. I didn't I didn't want all that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a baby shower. So, um, I think that's more for like the newlyweds when you're just like moving in and maybe you need stuff for your apartment or lingerie for the lady or something. I don't know stuff like that. I don't need all that stuff. So. That's why I just prefer monetary gifts. That's what I put on the envelope. Now, like I said, I would prefer to go get a cheap $10 outfit for myself and do the best that I can for my hair, but make sure that I got this gift to go to the wedding. How, the, how are you a grown person? Come to a wedding, show up, eat food, drink drinks, dance party, you know you having a good time. Want pictures with the bride and the groom. And you don't even put $20 in the car? Nothing? Like, I know people don't always have money. I don't always have money. Like, but I'm never going to go to no wedding empty-handed. Like a full-blown wedding. Empty-handed. You know what I'm saying? If you go to a kid's party, you could get the, slide them a little $25 gift card. Say, you know, you could get the baby something with this or whatever the best that you could do. That's all that matters. But just nothing. My own mother came to the wedding and didn't even give, leave her daughter nothing. Her daughter or her son-in-law. And she brought two guests with her. So the, all three of them ate. All three of them had a good time. They partied. And left. Just like that. That shit hurts so bad because it's like I put in a lot of effort. Me as one person. It's a lot of you gotta use your brain like a lot. Like putting things together down from anything down to a freaking napkin on the table to music that has to be played, a order of people walking down. It takes a lot on your brain. Like you know what I'm saying? And this is what we wanted. So I did what it take. Everything is not going to be perfect. Everything wasn't what I wanted it to be. But it was perfect for me. And, and that's just that. I'm going to leave it like that. But at the same time, it's like that. I feel like that's so disrespectful. How the hell do you fix yourself to come to a wedding and don't bring nothing? Even if you didn't physically have money to give... If I don't have money to give, I'm still going to come in with a gift, whether or not if you said monetary only, because that's what I put on the inv invitation, if I didn't mention it. But if I know I don't have physical cash to give, I'm still coming with a gift. I'm still coming with a gift card because I'm not going to sit at nobody um, event, eat their food, dance, take pictures, drink their liquor, and then leave. And that's just that. That's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. And I'm going to say this. Any event, which probably won't be for a while, um, we are going to do a gender reveal. It's going to be something very small. But any other event that I have, just don't feel no type of way if you don't get invited. Because I do not 
come to nobody event without bringing something. You can never say that. I don't care if it's small or if I go out the way, depending on my situation at the moment. I'm not coming to nobody event without bringing something. That's just straight up outright disrespectful. And especially for a wedding. That's ridiculous. Like even your own close personal family. Let's say you didn't have a gift or you know you're not going to be able to bring a gift. Sis, bro, friend, cousin, do you need me to do anything? Listen, right now I don't got it, but I definitely will look out for you. But I can do this for you if you need me to do it. Like, you know, make make the person feel um, comfortable or it's kind of like I want to say. Like you being used, like, I don't know if that's the right term, but it make me feel real mad. It do. Absolutely. You know, because I just think that's outright disrespectful. Disrespectful. And then to top it off, you complain. You complain about certain things. Like, this is not your wedding. This is not your occasion. There should be no reason why you should be opening up your mouth saying nothing if it don't got nothing to do with you. Or you didn't take part in any of this. So I know on my behalf, if I was to ever give something, which would probably be maybe a long time from now. I don't know. A lot of people will not be invited. And... It's just that simple. You got people that will bring a guest and they guests don't bring nothing. Or you got, like, I just don't understand it. Or maybe how about you have a whole family full of people. I mean, a whole table, table full of family. And not, you, it could have said everybody, everybody put in a 20 or everybody put it in 10. We all put it together in one car and we just, you know, it doesn't matter how big or small it is, it's just the thought. You know what I'm saying? The thought. Like, you don't know until you do it how expensive a wedding can be and how much headache. But for you to know that you're going to come there and enjoy yourself. And my wedding was really nice. Like, you know, it took a lot to plan it. We did cancel it at once. Well, not cancel, but postpone it at once. Because I just, I knew to myself, like, I wasn't ready and in the place was just doing too much you know what i'm saying so it's just like you know what let me just take my time we're gonna do this all over let's push it back and then we, sh we should be ready you know what i'm saying and i'm glad i did that because it came out nice like i said everything was not perfect the way i wanted it to be even last minute little things i forgot or we left it at home all kinds of stuff like that but the venue that I had was very helpful down to us like assistance. Uh, they had extra stuff there that I didn't even know about regarding decoration. You know what I'm saying? So it was very, very helpful and I will definitely book with them again. Um, and once you see this wedding venue, if you thinking about doing an event, go for it. You won't be disappointed at all because they are really helpful. They're not there just to take your money and leave you for, for dead, like, basically. They help you with everything down to cleaning. If you need them to help serve, anything, anything. But that's what I came on here to say, just to express myself. Because if I was to have an event, a lot of people ain't coming. And that's just that. And that shit hurts when it's like you got your close family that you mingle with on a regular. And they come to your wedding, smiling your face, pictures, this, that, having a good time. You know they're having a good time. You mean to tell me you couldn't slap me no, no gift card, no nothing? Nothing? Like, you didn't even say, all right, I ain't got no money. I'm going to bring, I know this is your wedding, but I'm going to bring you something for the baby. Because I ain't have X, Y, Z or it could be anything I'm never ungrateful for nothing nothing but it's just a point like how do you put yourself in that position like I'm not gonna know I know every last person that 
was invited to my wedding, every last person that came to my wedding, every last person that brought me something, and every last person that didn't bring me nothing. And I'm just like, damn, like, you grown, you grown. You came with your sister, your mother, your uncle, this, that. I'm giving an example. You know what I'm saying? And you, you didn't bring nothing. Like, how does that work? How? I'm, I'm going to be honest. This is the God's honest truth. If I was to be invited to a wedding and I was dead broke, honestly, I'm going to try to find something in my house that's not open, a box of champagne glasses, uh... I, I don't know what I would do if my back was against the wall. But best to believe I'm not going to that wedding without a gift. You don't do that. That's disrespectful. You don't do that. That's like some 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 using type shit. That's how I feel. That's how I feel, honestly. But it's okay. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's move on to you got close friends and family I'm not even going to say close friends and family you got friends and family that you speak to on a regular that was supposed to be there on your special day never even mentioned that they can't attend they got an emergency and all type of things like this they just don't show and then you realize it a day later like you know I'm looking at my guest list I'm like, oh shit, this person didn't even come. Did they call me? You know, I'm trying to think. You know what I'm saying? Because I know people do have emergencies. Before my wedding, like, I, I guess the week before, two people um, passed away. And you know what I'm saying? It's just like, that's considered an emergency. I'm not thinking twice about Oh, why you still can't come? No, like it, it is what it is. You have to handle what you have to handle. And if you need my support after, I will be there for you, period. But I'm talking about people that's physically your family, that's on social media, talking to you on a regular or, or, or you see there's nothing. There was no type of communication. Oh, B, oh, Chris, I can't make it right now. Um, you know, I got an emergency. You know what I'm saying? Like, if there's no emergency, there shouldn't be no reason why you can't come. Be honest. You never know what a person could do for you. You know what I'm saying? If you if you couldn't travel, you never know if me and Chris could probably put money together to maybe help you find a way so you could be there for us and. We could spend time together in pictures. This is a once in a in a lifetime type of thing. Just like a funeral. You know what I'm saying? Just like a, a baby being born or a baby shower. Each occasion is different and special. You know, so you would want to be there. Unless you really don't care, then that's something different. But stuff really hurts. Like, But it's okay. Sometimes you just have to deal with it and you move accordingly. And then you just leave people alone. You leave people alone. And that's just that. Because I I just don't understand. I don't understand. I try to make it to anything possible that a friend or a family member in, personally invite me to and bring something. There's no way I'm coming to your event and don't have nothing. Nothing. There is no way possible. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I had a good time. Um, I'm in good spirit because my genuine people are still talking about it and they just like, it was amazing. And I believe so too. And, um, I wish I could bring the Friday and Saturday back. Um, you know, it was hectic trying to get, do last minute thing. Yeah. But oh, I wish I could bring it back because it was a very, very good experience and good memories. I hope you guys are following me on Instagram so you can see the pictures and the videos and stuff like that. Um, 
<laughs> I just had to come on here and make this video because I, I'm just so I was annoyed I'm gonna just leave it in the past and I know what I have to do because it's just like crazy it's crazy people is bold people is really really bold but um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um stay tuned for the next video which will be the clips of the wedding I'm not gonna do a, a long video I'm gonna just do certain important clips until the full video come out with the uh that the videographer is putting together I just have to send him two songs so he can um let pe play I think he said while the video was running it was something he was telling me so once everything is done and edited I'll just post that and just stay tuned you guys I'm happy it's over um as far as like the planning part so I don't have to bust my brain we are getting, gonna get ready for our gender reveal we're gonna be having because the baby is coming oh and I finally <clears throat> I finally got the um the results in I have a, I have a strong mind I'm not gonna open it I opened it already because my husband knows he just is too eager he's like I gotta start shopping and stuff like that I'm just like all right whatever just don't tell me don't tell me but um he knows I don't know I still want it to be a surprise none of the kids don't know so like we plan to do for the wedding which we didn't get a chance to because I didn't get the results in time um my mother-in-law is still gonna do her part with um some type of gender um reveal thing and we're gonna have like a nice barbecue for like our family and our genuine family and friends um and just try to have a good time um the next day after wedding we was talking about trying to put something else together because the place is just so beautiful the scenery is nice they offer a lot and it's not that expensive so i'm like damn what can what else can we do <laughs> but i love you guys thank you guys for tuning into this video um like I said, to my people that genuinely supported us, not just came to my wedding, ate my food and drunk up my liquor and left, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys and you will always be invited to anything I ever have, which ain't really much, but I appreciate it. And to the people that came, ate up my food and drunk my liquor and didn't give us nothing, you will never be invited to anything I ever have again. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.